So if you're super unlucky in life, for some reason you may have to solder this wire that's individually enameled. Copper, well, of course now it's out of focus. There we go. So if you've done something wrong and you've been super unlucky and the electronic gods hate you, you may for some reason have to solder this individually enameled copper wire. So how do we do that? Well, watch this. What's happening right now is this solder on my iron, which is set at 780 Fahrenheit or uh, 430 degrees Celsius, is slowly melting through the enamel. We're just going to let it burn through. Takes a little while. If you have the temperature too high, bad things happen. But eventually, it will melt through the enamel and produce a solderable joint. You may have to replace the solder because it needs some flux on there in order for it to do anything. So we're going to put some fresh solder on here. There we go, it's starting to melt now. There we go. Now that might look kind of nasty, but it's actually solderable now. Continue with the other wires. It's important to have it inside some kind of a clamp like this so that they don't go flying all over the place. This is very difficult to focus. Give me a thumbs up for being able to hold a cell phone and solder at the same time. You may have to solder this kind of wire if you have headphones and you're trying to repair them rather than buy new ones. I'm actually building a custom cable so that I can hook my head, my microphones to my phone and have it play back in nice stereo rather than mono. It takes a while.
and you have to burn through the enamel otherwise it won't get a good contact the electrical connection will be bad as well as it will come undone off of whatever it is you're soldering it to after you finish tinning the wire you may have to replace the solder a couple of times before it sticks This one's being a bit troublesome. Patience and adequate lighting is key. This one might need a slightly higher temperature. But. Seems pretty good. I'll do the last one. There we go. Now we have electrically connected the solder to the ends of the wires. And you can solder it to whatever you need to now that it's tinned. Wow, I can't believe that took 10 minutes. <laughs>